It's 10 trivia questions on the WWE with my friend Jeff. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds, and today we've got a very fun episode featuring my friend Jeff Ramdas and I standing in front of a brewery asking each other wrestling trivia questions. If you're a wrestling nerd, you will have fun with this episode trying to play along and guess like we do. And before we start, I thought I'd read five random questions from a WWF World Wrestling Federation trivia question game that someone gave me or I got as a present. Uh, We'll see if you know these questions, mostly from the 80s and 90s. Here's just five warm-up questions for you. Who lost the finals of the King of the Ring in 1997? Who lost the final match? Was it Triple H, Mankind, or Jerry Lawler? The answer was Mankind. Mankind lost, I think, to, hmm, who won that year? Maybe Triple H or maybe Owen Hart? One of those two. Number two, who was the King of the Ring in 1997? Oh, there we go. There's the next question. Was it Triple H, Steve Austin, or Owen Hart? The answer was... Triple H. So I think 1995 was the first King of the Ring, and it was Bret Hart. The second year, 96, was Owen Hart, and the third year was 97, and that was Triple H. And then I think the next year, 98, might have been Austin, if I'm not mistaken. Number three, who managed Demolition at WrestleMania 4? One of my favorite WrestleManias. Who managed Demolition, the tag team? That was Mr. Fuji. Mr. Fuji, RIP, died a couple years back. Number four, what weapon was used by Demolition at WrestleMania 4? How did they win? What did they use to win? That was Mr. Fuji's cane. He had a cane, and they took advantage of it, hitting their opponents with a cane. And number five, in what state did Demolition win the tag title for the second time? What state? Wow, that's a tough question. It was uh, West Virginia. If you somehow knew that, you are a savant. Those are just some warm-up questions from a random wrestling trivia game I have. I uh, have a bunch of random trivia game cards sitting on the top part of my desk here. I got stuff like uh, Pass the Popcorn, Sports Quiz, Disney Seen It, Wrestling Trivia, True False Cards, and I mail those to people that are fans of the show. When people go, hey, I left you a review, I go, what's your Uh, address and they go here's my snail mail address and i send them stuff like that just kind of fun to grab one play along quiz a friend and i collect them from kind of just random spots usually uh thrift stores will have a huge section of board games and there'll be loose cards and things like that i'll just buy some random old game to have those cards for content for the show my live nights and for you guys who like answering trivia questions if you have any of those type of cards you ever want to send me you can always mail them to me take a picture of them or uh, email them to me at ryanbuds at gmail.com that would be cool always looking for fun new content from fun new sources okay guys today's episode is about a little something called wrestling like we've been talking about if you're a wrestling fan keep on listening and enjoy this 10 question quiz going back and forth with five questions each from me and my friend jeff here we go standing here outside one of my favorite breweries of all time last name brewing in upland california with my friend jeff remdas what's up jeff life is golden how are you doing buds doing pretty good man we just got done with trivia our weekly trivia night that we've been doing here every wednesday from 7 30 to 9 30 for four and a half years you played what did you think of the rounds tonight rounds are super fun there was a good mix of stuff that I did know, a lot of stuff that I didn't know, but that's a me problem. (laughs) But everyone here had a smile on their face when they walked in, and they had a smile on their face when they left, and everyone had a couple of laughs thrown in. It's as good of a night as we can get for a weeknight hosting trivia anywhere. That was like a Yelp review. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much. Uh, You're a big guy on Yelp. I think you have like (laughs) an elite rating of some kind, right? No? I wish I did. What do you need to do? Who do you need to... I need to review... Hang out with to get that review. Status. I, I think I need to. What do I need to do? I need to review every restaurant I've ever been to in LA for the last two years in like up. a two month stretch. There you go. And then I'll become a Yelp elite status, which I don't know what it does to my life, but <laughs> I think it makes it better. There you it's go. a new goal that I can hopefully reach for 2020. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to give you elite status tonight if you can answer all five of my wrestling trivia questions. You and I are big wrestling fans. We've watched a lot of pay-per-views together. And uh, what do you think the last one we watched? Was it WrestleMania? I think it was 
Yeah, WrestleMania in 2019. So where that would they have been 35, in, right? 35? We just said 35? 35, yeah, yeah. 35, the second one in New York at MetLife Stadium. Very I also cool. have five questions for you for if you want to answer them to see which one of us knows more about the shared wrestling activity. Ooh, that we that'll like. be good. We'll go back and forth with five questions, and uh, we'll see who can get m- more right out of five, I guess is what we'll do. And we'll kind of kick this off with uh, a first question from me to you. You ready? As ready as I'll be for the 24-7 championship, so let's do it. <laughs> there we go. Question number one, what were the first names of the tag team known as the Headbangers? Oh, I should know this. Wait, let's see. So we're see. talking late 90s, early 2000s, the Attitude Era. There was a tag team called the Headbangers. What were their first names? Not their uh, real names, but their, their names as the Headbangers. They were called something and something, the Headbangers. Any guesses? I want to say... Scott and Steve, but that sounds wrong <laughs> as I say it out loud. It's got to be a little bit more headbangery than that. Uh, I had the wrestling uh, mm. Jacks action figures with bone crunching action of both these mm. guys, and they had um, like uh, skirts or kilts on, you know, mm. like uh, that were uh, plastic molded. And I actually at one point got sick of not being able to use their legs for moves, mm. so I cut the skirts off so that they were in like regular wrestling attire and you could bend the, the leg to fully do like a power bomb and stuff you know what I mean their names were Mosh and Thrasher oh, I, Mosh and Thrasher the Henbangers. I am fully disappointed in my <laughs> lack of late 90s knowledge because I prided myself on that that's a me problem but I'll live with it alright Jeff right. uh, 0 for 5 let's see if I can get the first one from you let's see so I'm going to give a list of three names of people who are still currently wrestling okay which one of the three has been WWE or world champion for the longest? Or okay. more specifically, who's been WWE champion for the longest? Okay. Is it Triple H? Is it Randy Orton? Or Brock Lesnar? And you're talking about the longest amount of time cumulatively cumulative, from all the times I've ever been champion? Correct. So cumulative WWE champion holders across all of their reigns. I think that that has to be... Well, hmm. My first thought is Lesnar because he, I think he was champion for like a full year, which would be a, a huge amount to add on to that timeline. But then also those other two, Triple H and Randy, might have won so many times that their individual reigns add up to way more than Lesnar's. I'm going to say Randy Orton. All right, so Brock Lesnar had 579 days. Okay. Triple H, with all of his combined runs, had 609. Okay, so Triple H was more than Lesnar. Randy Orton had 654 days combined. So, so I Randy, won. You got that question Ooh, right. Ooh, that was good, because I really was about to say Lesnar, and then randomly I was like, I feel like Randy Orton, because Randy Orton's, what, 14-time? He's 14-time combined between the two. the two, but there was also that stretch between 2004 and and 2014, I believe, yeah. where Lesnar was out trying to be an NFL player and then UFC champion. Yeah. So during all of that time, the title went between Cena and Orton and CM Triple Punk. H, Punk, yeah. Shawn Michaels for a minute. There you go. That's a good question. I feel good that I got that one. Here's question number two. What is Vince McMahon's middle name? Uh, K. For Kennedy. Yes, Vincent K. Vincent Kennedy <laughs> McMahon. There you go. You're one, four, five. Nice job, Jeff. What's my next question? All right. So, Dolph Ziggler has a crazy streak going on that's super under the radar. Okay. So, Dolph Ziggler has been a champ, or Dolph Ziggler has held a championship or Money in the Bank briefcase holder. For a surprisingly long amount of time. Hmm. What year did this streak start? Ooh, that's pretty good. So he's either been a champion every year or a Money in the Bank briefcase holder every year since a certain year. And you want me to name that year? Exactly. 2011. Close. Ah, uh, what was it? 2010. Oh, it was one it was year one ahead. one of the either Intercontinental or U.S. champions that was picked up there. Then it was a couple of World Heavyweight champions. And yeah. then a mix of U.S. and world, no, U.S. and intercontinental champions. Sure. And then just last Sunday on the Clash of Champions, him and Bobby Roode became the tag team champions for the Raw brand. I saw that. That was one of the first matches. It was actually the only match I saw of the whole pay-per-view. Uh, it's, I have to still watch it because it seems like it was an exciting night. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like a lot of nice. good stuff happened. 
Nice question. Here's number three. What diva, as they were called at the time, was involved in a storyline with John Cena, Zack Ryder, and Kane? I am really embarrassed that I know this one. <laughs> this one popped in my head. I don't know why. The storyline always jumps out at me as like a weird-ass storyline that people never talk about. It's because it was so... It bordered the line of absurd and amazing the whole time. Yep. Eve Torres. Eve Torres. That's right. Eve was the uh, diva involved there. She was like dating Zach right. and then she made out with John Cena in a real like super over dramatic right. way. And it, uh, and then Kane was also in there oh, no, it, trying to embrace the hate with Cena. No, the craziest part was that, I don't know if you remember this, the scene that happened was... Eve Torres was looking to John Cena for protection from Kane, and then they went to an ambulance, and somehow Kane ended up inside the ambulance being carted away. Yes. And then in the shock of moment, it was John Cena and Eve Torres That's in the shock that led to them making out. And then after that, Zack Ryder, with his injuries that he had from his wrestling angle as well as... A bouquet of roses just gets the camera yeah. put on him. Oh, it great. looks at the two of them, yeah. then Zack Ryder, then the two of them again. Perfect soap opera action. That was good such stuff. Such is wrestling and such is life. <laughs> <laughs> That's good stuff. Number three. Let's see. Uh, Trish Stratus and Leader was the first women's main event that ever occurred on Raw. Mm. Multiple choice. When did it occur? December 2002, December 2004. Or December 2007. I'm going to go 04. It is 04. Yeah, it had to be. I was like, 02 02 seems too early. 07 seems too late. That's pretty, it's a pretty good question. I almost didn't get it, but I I would say 04. That's good stuff. Here comes number four. What was the British Bulldog's Bulldog name? What was their Bulldog pet? What was the name of that dog? British Bulldogs back in the 80s. Let's see. I should know this. Our mutual friend Kurt is going to judge me so hard for (laughs) not knowing this. Yes. All right. Because you're currently wearing a shirt of the famous scene from the barbershop with Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Uh Uh-huh. Only going off that, I'm going to go with Marty. Marty is not uh, too far off. It does start with an M. It's Matilda. Matilda the Bulldog. sort of counts. Yeah, there you go. Sort of. It's that Raul Dahl book, Matilda. (laughs) Good stuff. Number four, we got two questions left for me, one question left for me. Let's see how many we can get. Let's see. All right, so this one has three answers. Get as much as you can. Okay. Three wrestlers were awarded the Money in the Bank briefcase at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view and then cashed in on the same night. Okay. How many of them can you get? Okay, Edge for sure, right? Not Edge. Oh, God, I messed that one up. I thought you won it that night. Oh, I already screwed it up. Um, won it and then cashed it in. We'll go three strikes and you're out. <laughs> uh, now I'm like all thrown off. I thought Edge was a famous one, but uh, won it. Uh, Ziggler? Not Ziggler. Oh, my God. All right, I just give up. All right. You got to give me all three. So Kane won it in 2011. Okay. And then cashed in on... Rey Mysterio the same no that was in 2011 because that was when Alberto won yeah Kane won it and then cashed in on the same night on Rey Mysterio okay Alexa Bliss last year oh yeah cashed in when it was I think on Ronda Rousey yes and then this year Bailey won and then cashed in on the same night oh man that was a tough one I feel like I, I swear to god Edge was the same night but I'm way off Edge so it's probably Edge won it on a Monday Night Raw and then cashed it in the next night on Tuesday Night SmackDown gotcha. against The Undertaker there that you go. set up Edge Undertaker at WrestleMania way down the line. There you go. All right, let's see if I can get this last one. All Super right. Super excited. Here's number five. What band performed CM Punk's theme song from 2006 to 2011? Oh, I listened to this. <laughs> Way more than I should. Yes. Kill switch engage. Yes. This fire burns. This fire burns. Well done. Kill switch engage. Jeff, you got that one. You got uh, the Zack Ryder one. You got Kennedy's name. So you got three out of five. That's pretty good. And I, I'm on my way to maybe also get three out of five or just two out of five. We'll call it three out of five. All right. We'll call it three out of five. We'll call it three out of Let's five. Let's see if I get this last question. Let's see. So 
SmackDown is moving to Fox. Yes. And SmackDown has had this really weird hopscotch in terms of what networks it's been on since it started. Okay. There's five networks at least that it's been on. Okay. Can you name them? Mm. UPN? UPN's the first one. TNN? Uh, not TNN. Here's a hint. What Spike. Th- oh, not even uh, that. Spike became TNN. Got it. But right. here's a hint. When UPN merged with oh, this other network. CW. CW okay, was so second. CW, UPN, USA. USA is where it's on now. And then does Fox Sports And then there's Sports two count? more in the middle. So Fox Sports is so not, not in the not Fox running. Sports. Two more for two SmackDown. Two more. Ugh. One of them is also like a sister channel to USA. And then the other one was the leftover channels when the CW became a joint channel. Man, I have no idea. Uh, it's not TBS, is it? No, not TBS. It's never any I'll, Turner stuff, right? Okay, go ahead. Right, I'll the give the ones? two. So my networks, which uh, I found out because I'm like, oh, what's on this channel that used to host DS or not ESPN, UPN that I would love all the time. Yeah. And then it became my nine or my That's right. seven or whatever the my network started with. That's right. Which became a bunch of fun reruns that would have shows until 10 or 11 or 12 at night. There you go. And then sci-fi. Oh, yes. So when they, sci-fi channel. When they got the jump from the my networks with the last package sci-fi became the host first and then it moved back to usa That's and now right. it starts on fox in a couple of weeks with brock lesnar versus kofi kingston and he's got to win that right he has he's to just win gonna win that. and then they're like oh everyone he won it on the first episode of this thing and he's the champion and get, gets people to watch exactly it's got which be. i'm super excited to watch i'm super excited to watch the more pay-per-views in the future i saw just a promo actually for the mm. new uh fox sports and there were things in the promo that was very un WWE like to include in a promo, and I'm like, this is interesting because I feel like somebody's like, like, uh, we'll we'll Fox Sports this up a little bit, you know? Like there was somebody giving an RKO to a mannequin in a store, but it looked like a real like a like a cell phone video, and right. I'm like, they don't like WWE does not like to say, hey, you should do these moves at like a store, but like I feel like Fox Sports was like, nope, that's how we're gonna advertise this, you know? That's what people exactly. like, you know. Which, which is what people like. They like those goofy videos. So it'll be interesting. I hope it works. And um, it's just a new renaissance of uh, wrestling to I'm, watch. I'm really excited with AEW starting up their yep. show soon. NXT. NXT starting their show tonight as we tape yeah. on September 18th. Yes. What's happening tonight? the move to Fox with is this, So NXT tonight aired on USA? I or, believe it yeah. is. It's on USA for the next year. Okay, But cool. between NXT with updates with Raw, with SmackDown, with yeah. AEW, ROH, what's happening in Japan. With We're in a good time. All of these together, it's an exciting time. It's to, definitely more exciting than like five years ago. Exactly. You know, when there was nothing else, no other game. So, Jeff, awesome. Always great having you on the show and uh, answering some questions and asking some questions. Anything you want to plug before you leave? I know, life is good. Love it, dude. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Later, buds. There it was. Ten questions from Jeff and I on WWE. I hope you had fun playing along with those. I got one more wrestling question for you with the question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Go check them out at fmdesignsinc.com. Tell them Bud sent you when you need your T-shirts printed. You will get a fabulously designed T-shirt. They can print the sizes and your logo on the inside collar of the shirt. So there's no need for a tag anymore. That's kind of a cool thing I've noticed on their shirts. So you can have like your logo. I could put like trivia with buds, the logo on there and then size large or size medium, etc. So if you're thinking of having some very cool, soft printed shirts, check out fmdesignsinc.com and see what they can do for you. Your question of the day is who was the first ever WWF intercontinental champion? This is a popular figure that's hard to find right now. If you're a big figure collector, like I am, who is the first ever WWF Intercontinental Champion. Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was Amazon Prime for the streaming service that streams Carnival Row. And your trivia team name of the day is Diamond Dallas Minimum Wage. Diamond Dallas Page with a little pun thrown in. Diamond Dallas Minimum Wage. If you want to play trivia for real money, check out skillyworld.com. It's a new app like HQ with a bunch of true-false questions games every night at 6.30 
p.m. Eastern time. First game is free if you go to skillyworld.com. Check out that app. Thank you guys so much for listening to the show. Thanks for telling a friend about the show, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers.